Hello everyone, Penny here, and today um, is day two of the Love Hop, and uh, this is the Bible journaling part. I want to say that there are the Bible journaling prompts um, for the Love Hop is in this kit. Okay, this kit is the preview. Um, you will see that on the website. If you need the links, let me know. Um, this is what, um, for the Love Hop, I have the journaling part at the top and I have the Bible journaling at the bottom on the website. So this is what it looks like. And our prompt for today, the Love Hop is called, He Loves Me, He Loves Me Much. And there's 14 days of this. Okay, this is the part of the Love Hop. Now, also in the Bible journaling group and the Facebook group, you will see the monthly devotion kit. This is different, okay? This is Adoring Letters of Love. This is the monthly devotion kit, okay? It does have similar items to the Love Hop, but it's a different, it's a different thing, okay? This is the, uh, there's a scripture, monthly scripture writing plan in here. Okay, so there's the first PDF and then there's a second PDF for Adoring Letters of Love. It is different than the Love Hop. Okay, the Love Hop is just for 14 days. And it's regarding journaling, okay? Whether you do your Bible journaling either uh, by um, faith art or by just writing it out, by journaling in your Bible, journaling in a journal, or creating a journal like I have. It's a hybrid junk journal by creating this um either however that you journal or if you just journal in the margins of your bible let me get that out this is what we did the first day so however that you do your bible journaling hopefully there are ways that you can incorporate what we're doing in the love hop into what you you already do so for the love hop for the bible journaling it's called he loves me he loves me much. Okay, that's what this is called. And um, you are going to, like I said, you're going to need the kit to preview. You need, if you want to come along with me, you don't have to print these out. You can do similar with what with what you have. Today is day two, so it's Isaiah 54:10, and our prompt is to create a cluster journaling tuck. Okay, a cluster journaling tuck. All right, now a tuck is something that you um, tuck in. It's not a pocket, but it's a tuck like this. This is considered a tuck. And Marcy Cope Designs shared um, her um, corner. This is a corner flip tuck. See, it's a corner. It flips, and it is a tuck. She shared her wonderful design using the printables. You don't have to have the printables. You can take an index card or just regular paper and do this also in your Bible. You just need a square and just fold it over. That's all you need. And then you have an instant pocket for your margin of your Bible. And you can just stick these in here. You can use any kind of papers, index card. You can use junk mail. You can use junk mail's great supplies, okay? If you have coffee filters, you can cut that into a square and use it as a corner flip tuck. So that is what a tuck is. Now, a cluster is something that you just, you take pieces and you cluster it up. I usually staple mine together. And then that way, um, it's sort of an embellishment for this little tuck right here. It's embellishment that can go on top of here. So let's get started. So you're going to need, if you want to do some printables, that's totally fine. I have included for the Bible journaling, I have included some printables. This is a guide for you to go by. So those who are just starting out Bible journaling, if you're not into the total art process yet, using gelatos or watercolors, mixed media, um, then this is a great alternative that you can use in however that you journal. Whether it's uh, in a regular notebook, an old alter, an altered book, um, or if it's you know any kind of journal or a journal that you make. Um, you can use these guides. It tells you about the Bible illustration. Uh, it tells you about um, the prompt. Um, and it has this list of supplies uh, that I normally use. And then it has the printable page to go along with it. If you want to create this in your, in your Bible margin. Okay? Or a journal margin or notebook or whatever you journal in. So this it, this is a page that comes with it. Okay, it's the instruction page. Uh, there are several for this um, event. 
Um, so I think there's three. Here is another design. Now this would be, let's see, and here's, here is this actually. This is a different one, but it's similar. This is the belly band one. This is a belly band one. And this one is um, just a pocket, actually. This is the pocket, this is the belly band, and this is the actual cluster that we can put together if you, you know, corner cluster if you wish. Um, and then it has these uh, scriptures. These are the little love notes. It also has the smaller little word vocabulary cards. It has the margin art strips. Okay. So the margin art strips is a decorative paper that you put on the margin. I did different sizes because not everybody has the same Bible. Not everybody has. And you can cut it to the size that you need. This is a um, 1.75 close uh, to 8 or 7. I can't remember. So this fits in a, a Bible. This is 3 inch and this is 4 inch. It just depends on what Bible or journal that you have and what you want to work with. So I do have that option if you uh, need that for a larger Bible. There's some Bible journaling Bibles out there that are quite large in the margins. Um, I just, I have my own. If you check out the videos in the Facebook group or on my YouTube channel if you want to know about all the Bibles that I have. Okay, so, um, let's see, where's that? You're also going to need, um, let's see, I think those is all that we're going to need is what's in the Bible journaling part. Those. And you may want to go over to the journal part, which is at the very top of the page uh, on the website where you get these downloads. Um, you may want to print out the love notes. So all, it says love notes, altered paper, uh, clips, and belly bands. So you may want to print these off as well uh, because we're going to need, be need, needing these if you want to. It's in this, but these are different, okay? So this is the Bible journaling. So today, our prompt for the Bible journaling says Isaiah 5410 create a cluster journaling type. So I'm going to go to this because I'm kind of doing the journaling part and the Bible journaling kind of all together to help me save on time and I couldn't do two separate events so I'm just kind of correlating them together. So this is the little um, daily countdown we made. Check out the videos if you want these. These are in the journaling section of the event. So our scripture for today is Isaiah 54 and 10. And then this was the journaling prompt for today for the junk journal part of it. Okay, so this is going to go back in my journal. This is the junk journal that a hybrid that I put together. Um, so we can get to work on now the Bible journaling part of the events. So we are going to be putting together Let's see, we can make it cluster, so. The pocket. So we can work with this principle if you want to. If you don't, that's, that's totally okay. What you can do is if you just have your basic supplies, if you have scrapbook paper, if you don't um, have any kind of decorative paper, you can obviously use your gelatos and watercolors to make your own papers. Um, but I am just going to um, cut this out and get my Bible out and let's go. Now that I have my verse highlighted with a colored pencil, um, I notice if you notice you have um, this over here, no worries because you can absolutely not mess with this. You don't have to worry about this. You can absolutely just put the paper over it and use it. You can use white acrylic paint. You can use gesso, whatever you want to do. But for me, normally it's there and I'm going to leave it there. And all I'm going to do is cut out. Um, now you can choose to leave the black line on these printables if you want to. You can choose to cut them off or cut right on them. It is totally up to you. However, that it will fit into your journaling bobble. Every journaling bobble is different, different sizes. So you just kind of have to 
adjust it to what you need or to what you like or to what the look is okay if you need these different sizes let me know and I will remake them for you if you need different sizes than what I've provided okay now to glue this in or tape it in you can use washi washi is one of the things that bubble journaling is great for washi is perfect um, however if you want to keep your journaling Bible for years and years you will need to use um, some um, a glue stick with uh, on the back of your washi because over time washi will peel off so i'm just going to use um just i just use eileen's tacky glue i don't use a lot um because i don't want it to go i don't prep my page because basically we're creating a belly band over top of um what's already created there okay now you can color those if you want i just use colored pencils and gel pens and I'm going to put it over here close to the edge as I can. And then if I want to journal, actually journal, take notes, all that I have to do is put things under. See that? That's a belly band. That's all you have to do. So, you know, um, the problem sometimes when you run into Bible journaling is you only if you only journal a few verses, when you come back and you want to journal the rest of these verses, you have no room to do any art or to doodle or to put anything or more journaling. So this is why I love this method because I can journal on these cards for any verse that's there. You get what I'm saying? So we don't have to worry about um, having tons of different Bible journaling Bibles or journaling in different journals just to get all of these scriptures, especially if you study um if you just started out, it's a good idea to leave room um, for you to actually put more journaling in. If, if you just do one layout, um, like this, for example, if you just do one layout, then for just one or two scriptures, you're not going to be able to, um, to, you know, write about the rest of these scriptures. So this is gelatos, and you asked that you saw me work with gelatos before. I love gelatos, um, and I Bible journal in several different types. Uh, here is also again some gelatos um, with the printable. See that? So the reason I like, like I said, using items like here's another printable printable and this is some doodling doodling that I did um but like I said I like to have room to add the rest of these scriptures in so let's make this little um item here now you can use this one this is what my cluster is going to be um is these but I'll show you a different method if you just have regular papers okay I'm going to show you this printable and how to use this printable show you what a cluster is okay so I have this this heart and I want to put a cluster on top of here okay so let me get my scraps out and I have different scraps that I keep like all these words I can keep um, from the kits because it has the name on there um, so let's see if there's any kind of words I can use but I'm going to look for um, textbook pages so you can make a cluster out of those. I've got a piece of lace, um, old book text that I can use. This was a corner flip tuck and I can use this um, book text that I use my stencil on. If you have the circles that we punched out earlier, um, yeah. So when you make a cluster, 
you're just sort of taking everything that you've used or haven't used the leftover pieces so these are all the little leftover pieces that I had from I'll take a piece of lace this is just a scrap piece of lace and there we go take our piece here and I kind of want to make sure that things stick out to make a cluster where I want those and I can glue this but basically I'm just going to find um, my stapler there is a cluster that's what I was talking about and you can put this in the corner like this you can glue it down or paper clip it in and then you can take just you know if you glue it on glue it on the two sides so you can have a tuck right there see that or you can paper clip it in however you want to do okay so now I'm going to take my distressing now if you don't have this ink it's archival permanent ink. You can use shoe polish. If you don't like the smell of the shoe polish, then go and invest in some archival. Now, some of these will go through your pages. If you use it directly on your page, just be aware of that. So this is a cluster. So I am actually going to glue it right onto my little square down here, my little tuck. And it's going to stick out of my bottle a little, but that's totally fine. Totally fine. Okay. Put that in there because I'm not going to use any of the words. Now this we can do a paper clip on if you want to make an altered paper clip. Or we can just tuck it. Like we can journal on as well. So we got a journaling spot here, journaling spot here, a journaling spot. Of course you can pick all that up in journal. Take notes. So there is one, two, three, four spots of, of four things to journal on. And then, of course, you can always put an index card back there and you can journal. So how do you like a cluster? Do you like it? The belly band cluster? And then we have a corner tuck. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can message me and tag me in the group. Um, if you're watching this by YouTube, please check out the links down below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.